What's up, fight fans? It's that time of year again. We're winding down 2017, a great year in the sport of boxing. It is the Montero Unboxing Year End Awards. And right now, I want to talk about comeback of the year in 2017. You know, I think it's important that we recognize when a fighter works them way back, works their self back from a, a bad loss or an injury. Maybe it's managerial problems, promotional network issues. Maybe it's legal issues, drug testing issues, whatever it is. A guy that, whether he made mistakes or not, or suffered some sort of injustice, whatever it is, works his way back into title contention, sometimes back into grabbing a title, becoming a titleist again, I think that's something we don't talk about enough, you know, because boxing is different from other sports where if you're not in the ring, you're not getting paid. So if you do have an injury, you have some kind of legal issues, promotional issues, something like that, that's keeping you out of the ring, you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid, your team's not getting paid. More than that, a bad loss can cut your pay way, way down. Right? Sometimes you're making high six figures, you take a bad loss, your pay, your pay is cut uh, into one-tenth of what it was before. Now you're making maybe 50 grand or so a fight. So we need to recognize when fighters work their way back more, I think. And, and this year we had a few good candidates, but to me there's one clear winner. Let's start with my candidates. Juan Francisco Estrada, who had a bad hand injury. I want to say it was the end of 2015. Uh, where he suffered a hand injury. It might have been the beginning of 2016, but either way, he was out of the ring most of the year last year and really had a down year for him. Now, he moved up in weight to chase after Roman Gonzalez, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, the man he fought at flyweight a few years ago, gave him a good competitive fight. I believe that was both guys' first fight in Los Angeles, and that really uh, got them in front of the fans here in Southern California, the hotbed of boxing in the world right now. And... Lo and behold, out most of 2016, comes back this year 2-0, beats Carlos Quadras on that super flag card in the fall on HBO. In the main event, Chocolatito loses, Rung Visai wins, and now Estrada's going to fight Rung Visai on the Superfly 2 card in February, headlining an HBO broadcast. So really, really great bounce back year for Juan Francisco Estrada. Let's talk about Sullivan Barrera who suffered his first professional defeat against Andre Ward last March. He was 3-0 this year with one KO. Big wins over Joe Smith Jr. Remember, Joe Smith Jr. was kind of the breakthrough fighter of 2016, and that was a big, big fight between Barrera and Joe Smith on an HBO card. A fun HBO triple header out here in Los Angeles. Barrera gets that win, comes back and fights Felix Valera on HBO. Another HBO card getting in front of fans again. And now he's set to fight Dimitri Bevel in March of 2018 for a light heavyweight title. So he's back on the scene in a title match. Really good bounce back year for Sullivan Barrera. Leo Santa Cruz, first pro loss last year to Carl Frampton, last July 2016, in a very, very good fight. Comes back this year, avenges that loss, beats Carl Frampton in January, looks really good boxing, showed wrinkles in his game that he hasn't shown before. Looked like potentially a, an on-the-bubble, pound-for-pound level guy if he gets more active. Beats Chris Avalos in more of a showcase fight in April at StubHub Center. Kind of a hometown fight in front of his hometown fans. Good bounce back year for him. But for me, the, the clear runaway winner for Comeback Fighter of the Year, Saddam Ali. You go back to last year. It feels longer. It feels like this was several years ago, but it was just last year he lost to Jesse Vargas. Right? And that was a bad knockout loss to Jesse Vargas, uh, fighting for a title there at welterweight. And Vargas, not a guy known for punching power, really tuned Ali up and stopped him. It was a bad-looking loss for him. He's come back. He's won three in a row. And, of course, this year he closes out the year with that win over Miguel Cotto at 154 pounds, moves up in weight, wins that title, beats the legend in a fight that many, many people thought he had absolutely no chance in. So he was... 3-0 this year, 2017. Now he has the WBO junior middleweight title. His mandatory is Liam Beefy Smith, who is the former WBO 154-pound titleist himself, a Frank Warren fighter. I think that that's a winnable fight for Ali. And you got to think that they're going to try and negotiate that fight in the spring of 2018. Ali probably could get more money if he travels over to the UK. 
if he defends his title, if he's successful there, that opens up other possibilities for him. Now, do I consider him an elite level junior middleweight, one of the top three or four guys? No, but he has a title right now and titles get you paid. And considering where this fighter was at just a year ago, I think it's a huge bounce back comeback year for him in 2017. Let me know what you guys think. Who am I forgetting? I know I got to be forgetting somebody. Let me know. Comment below. Like, share, subscribe. Have a happy holidays. Happy New Year. I'll see you at the fights in 2018.